reaction. Okay, guys, we need to talk because I got a lot of questions why I started doing my vlogs in Dutch and not English anymore. In this video, I'm going to explain you why I started doing that. I am the problem. Yes, I... some people of you thought he was the problem. You should break up. He cannot speak English, that's why. It's out. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pips vlog again. We get rid of this guy, so we do it in English. Bye. Okay, that was not the reason. I'll be serious now. First of all, I want to thank everyone that has been following me since the beginning. I really appreciate that. It has never been my intention to exclude anyone from my content because I've always wanted to share it with as much as people as possible. That's why I also chose to do subtitles under my vlogs and I still have my Instagram in English and TikTok. But I really understand why you guys were questioning why all of a sudden Pippa is doing her vlogs in English. One of the reasons is that I wanted to have a wider audience and not only being interested for the kiteboarding niche. I've been making so many vlogs and I couldn't really see any growth in my YouTube channel the past years. So I was like, okay, I wanna change something. And my goal has always been to inspire people with a story. In English, I couldn't be natural. I couldn't tell the story the way I wanted to tell it. Even now I'm struggling with how to explain you guys why I started doing the vlogs in Dutch. So I'm way more natural in my own language and I hope to just inspire people with telling the story in my own way. So that is a pretty big reason why I start doing them in Dutch. The other reason is that I want to build a deeper connection with you guys, my followers. And I felt like if I was just making random kite videos, yeah, it's of course it's fun to see the kiting part, but there's so much more to tell and yeah, to tell the story. I have to be 100% myself and if I want to show 100% myself, I also have to speak my own language so you guys can see how I am and how I deal with situations. And in that way, I hope to inspire more people. Besides the goals I have as an athlete, I maybe also want to start my pro center one day. And if I have a big following base in my own country, I hope everyone can come and visit my pro center one day, which will be located then in Holland. So I think in that way it makes sense as well. And the last reason is that I basically have a lot of competition if I would be doing it in English. There's a lot of English YouTubers that are very good and I think I'm more unique in my own country. So in that way, I think I can grow faster and also that I'm more authentic. So I hope in this video, it's a bit more clear and you guys can understand a little bit more why I switched from English to Dutch. Once again, it has never been my intention to exclude anyone from my YouTube vlogs. I just want everyone to enjoy them. I guess every one of you just have to learn Dutch. It's a very easy language. <laughs> no, but from now on, I will introduce a new Dutch word every single week that will be translated in English. So you guys can learn it a little bit. And I hope in that way I include you guys a little bit more. We're gonna start with a new begin. It means a new beginning. I think it makes sense for this vlog. And I hope to see every single one of you in my next vlog. And if you want to follow my adventure and see the next vlog, subscribe here and see you soon.